With COVID-19 affecting every part of our lives, it certainly has affected Halo and especially the pro scene. Well, 343 has come up with a new plan to hopefully keep the pro scene alive. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news information video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot guys so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. Now with the current viral situation affecting every part of our lives, I've been working from home since March. Many people have lost their jobs or their way of life has been completely turned upside down because of the current situation. And same thing has also happened with the competitive side of Halo, as our last event was back in Anaheim for DreamHack, which I went to, it was a fun time. Though it does look like this will be the final event of the year, sadly. Now with many competitive Halo players making a full on living playing competitive Halo without competitive Halo, well, you're not making a living. So what are you going to do for money and what your way of life? Well, 343 is looking to find ways to change that up. And it looks like they might come up with a new series called the MCC Pro Series. The MCC Pro Series is an online tournament series featuring both amateur players as well as pro players. These will be weekly tournaments alternating between amateur tournaments and pro tournaments and hopefully having those amateur teams the top eight merging in with the pro tournaments as well so are you a competitive halo player but haven't had an opportunity to make a name for yourself well now is absolutely the time to jump in to play this mcc pro series to get a chance to get your name out there to let people know that your team and your play style are available and eligible and up to the standards that qualifies for pro halo gameplay getting involved with competitive halo and becoming a full-on pro when it comes to this game is rather difficult as there isn't a straight shot guaranteed way to do it a lot of people get notoriety from either making youtube content you or streaming on twitch or also just doing well in free-for-all tournaments and things like that being very consistent with your gameplay you get a name out there well this is gonna be a great way for you amateur players to get your name out there to hopefully combat against these high caliber teams so the basic format of this whole thing is going to be open tournaments and pro tournaments will alternate every Saturday starting May 23rd. The top eight teams from the first open tournament will qualify for the first 16 team pro tournament where they will be met by the top eight teams from DreamHack Anaheim. The top eight teams from each pro tournament will automatically qualify for the next pro tournament and the cycle continues from there. The featured game will be Halo 2 Anniversary on PC which is set to release on May 12th but 343 will also be injecting other MCC titles as they release on PC and most notably Halo 3. On the blog post here they do mention that they're willing to take player feedback to determine which game or games to play throughout these tournaments now you're thinking great now how, where's the money at there obviously these are tournaments are we going to be winning anything yeah you'll be winning some money depending on what you're playing for the open tournaments there's going to be a prize pool of $500. Yeah, it's not the biggest prize will, but for you budding competitive players, it's not about the money. It's about the recognition, getting your chance and the opportunity to seize it, to get a chance to play against some high quality players. So hopefully make a name for yourself when Halo Infinite gets released. Pro tournament prize pool will be $5,000 with first place tech walking away with $2,000. Now keep in mind, these prize pools will be alternating between the open and pro tournaments. If we can see the dates were here, the first tournament starts on May 23rd, then the pro tournament starts on May 3rd. 30th, they have a another open tournament June 6th, and it proceeds on forward through there. July 4th will not have any tournaments as it is a American holiday for Independence Day there. Operating alongside these tournaments will be Face It as they've done previous tournaments as well for Hill. So these guys do know what they're doing when it comes to these processes here. They do have a link which I will leave in the description down below of this video so you guys can go down there, register for these tournaments. Now you're probably thinking that's fine and dandy for those pro players, but what about me? I just like watching or maybe want to see some cool moments taken from this. Well, as myself, I am a big fan of competitive Halo. Pretty much every major tournament, I try to take some time out of my day to watch because I just really enjoy seeing Halo play at such a high competitive level. And uh, 343 does mention here in this post saying, we are also currently exploring the possibility of hosting an at-home remote broadcast to bring you pro tournament matches to watch. We encourage you to find your favorite players and watch their streams as well. Now talking about a broadcast of MCC games is very difficult as these games do not have a spectator mode. Natashi did go on Twitter and did say a little bit extra saying our super talented broadcast producer Matt Klein is working on a plan 
to run a remote broadcast to cover the pro tournaments. There's no observer mode, so we'll have to leverage players' streams. Your patience is appreciated here. Also, if you're curious about how many teams are going to be involved with these open brackets, well, I went onto Facebook's website to kind of check out what the registration looked like. It looks like there are 128 available slots for these team matches. So obviously, you're not going to be able to see all these for the uh, the open brackets, but there are quite a few spots available for you guys to jump on them as soon as possible. When I checked on it Sunday night, there were already eight teams signed up for these open brackets. Now that these are going to be online tournaments, most likely I'm assuming these will probably be set up in the US. There's like a lot of people outside the US that might not exactly have a chance to join in on these tournaments. And if you even did get a chance, you wouldn't really have a fair connection with it being an online tournament. So there are other outlets for you guys to go out and play around with some competitive Halo. They do mention here that SWAT Nation, which recently was added to the grassroots program, is holding a Halo 5 2v2 SWAT tournament. Uh, obviously the price wasn't huge because they're very small community but therefore if you guys want to do that there's also a grand toronto halo aka gt halo go to their website they are actually holding a tournament at 12 p.m eastern standard time on sunday may 17th and for all you european players there is europa halo that's holding a doubles series right now and they say that there's going to be on sunday the day this video goes live may 10th at 12 p.m eastern standard time 5 p.m uh British Standard Time, I guess that's what BST stands for. Uh, you've yeah, seen some tournaments there, so if you guys are in these different locations, make sure to sign up there. And also, even Aust Halo Australia has their own pro league going on there as well. Again, if you guys want to try to get into these uh, competitive scenes, uh, those are the ways to reach out to those as well. Though from what I've read, I didn't see any limitations to region about signing up for these tournaments, but I'm not quite sure exactly how they'll be hosted as they're going to be online. Uh, so if you're outside the U.S., I would say uh, a sign up with precaution of having to play on a U.S. host. Also knowing that Halo 2 Anniversary is going to be the competitive mode for this next coming up uh, few series here makes me also think that we're going to get a ranked playlist for Halo 2 Anniversary as we uh, got a chance to play out competitive classic Halo even Halo 2 during the last flight but no Halo 2 anniversary competitive uh, mode sadly and uh, I never got a chance to play any hardcore modes in the Halo 2 flight because no one was playing it really and uh, I was really hoping to get a chance to grind out some Halo 2 anniversary uh, on this one because I thought Halo 2 anniversary plays out super well especially when the competitive settings I think it would just was some of the best Halo I've ever played. And hopefully, uh, obviously if we're having some online tournaments using Halo 2 Anniversary, I would hope you would have matchmaking for ranked modes going for Halo 2 Anniversary as well. I'm super excited to see what 343 is gonna be able to pull off with these online tournaments. This is a new challenge for 343. They certainly were not expecting that phase this year. And I'm really glad that they decided to take that effort to try to keep this competitive seed alive. And it also gives amateur players a chance to get their foot in the door to compete against some of the best players in the game. Honestly, I would love to see these weekly tournaments happen even with Halo Infinite's release, and they are also going to be still playing for Halo Infinite esports as well at the same time as doing this. So uh, the HES team there, uh, duties are a little divided at the moment as they're trying to you know juggle two communities at the same time. But I'm really glad that the team has taken the time and effort to do this rather than just say, uh, just screw it, fend for yourself, and we'll wait till Halo Infinite. They could have easily done that, but I'm glad they're not. Also, I'm really glad to see the amateur players are getting a chance to put their foot in the door, but what about amateur casters, such as, I don't know, me? If you guys don't know, I have done some casting on competitive Halo as well, and I would really like to try to get my foot in the door on that one as well. And uh, yeah, I've free shot to a few people. I haven't heard anything back yet, uh, but you know, we'll see what happens, hopefully. If you would like it, if you want to see me get a chance to Get a chance to get my name out there and do some casting on Halo. You know, share it with us from the developers. You never know. But that's gonna about do it for you guys. Are you guys gonna try to watch these pro series? Do you care about the competitive MCC or are you just waiting for Halo Infinite? Let me know in the comment section down below as I read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. What are your guys' thoughts on Halo 2 Anniversary being the competitive game for these first few tournaments? Are you just kind of also just waiting in line for Halo 3? Would you like to see Halo Classic be the main game being played? You know, let me know in the comment section down below. To me, this sounds like we will have Halo 2 Anniversary ranked, which I'm super excited about. I'm definitely going to be sinking in a good amount of time into that while that is released and populated when the game releases on Tuesday, May 12th. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. Got a place to all my news and information videos who've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching and I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.